Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. And you know from time to time, I like to highlight other YouTubers here on my channel. Well, today we've got a very special guest, Richard the Ant Hawthorne. What? You don't know who Richard the Ant Hawthorne is? I was first introduced to him through Animal, but I've been following him ever since. He gives a lot of great advice, and the dude is very strong. He was nice enough to make a video for me specifically on deadlifts, which is one of his fortes, although he's also very strong in the bench and squat. So go ahead and check him out. Check out his channel. Check out his Instagram, all of which will be linked in the description below. And go ahead and subscribe to his channel. And if you do, let him know I sent you. What's going on, everybody? Uh, Richard Hawthorne, uh, known as Richard the Ant Hawthorne here. Um, today I'm going to talk about why a deadlift is a push instead of a pull. Okay, um, just a quick rundown. My theories of lifting is a lot, a lot different than a lot of people. Um, uh, I use the same theory for all three. Um, I talk about core strength and keeping the body as one unit. Um, so there's a particular form or, or position in all three that allows you to maximize uh, your ability to lift weights. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over uh, deadlift and explain why, like I said, why deadlift is a push and not a pull. Okay? Um, just to start off with that, just simple, simple little things. I, I, I go off of how the body moves naturally, how you move throughout the day, okay? So if I was to, hold on one second. If I was to jump, just saying jump, regular jump, okay? When I jump, I jump and I'll extend all of my uh, joints, okay? You got your, usually the arm extension, okay? So you swing, arms are fully extended when you're at the top. Hips, fully extended. Knees are fully extended. Toes are fully extended, okay? You're jumping, okay, to lift your body off the ground. You're going straight up. When you're sitting down and you stand up, okay, you extending all of your joints. There's no overextension. Okay? There's no there's no real shrug. Okay? Alright. So with that being said, okay, people think of the back as being a function, doing a function, okay? Everybody know uh, your back. When you put it this way, everybody know your back cannot do a function. The only things on your, bodies that can, on your body that can do a function is joints. The knees can extend. The ankles can extend. The hips can extend, okay? So, therefore, thinking about the deadlift, how can your back actually do a function? It can't, okay? Your back is only there to maintain the actual lift. The things that are doing functions, so when you deadlift, is here and here. So you hear hips going through. So all you're doing is actually, when you're sitting down, sitting down in a chair, 
Well, all you're doing is standing up and everything locking at the same time. And when everything lock at the same time, it starts from where? The foundation, the ground, okay? The ground here, all right? So you have to, in order to stand up straight, you have to push through the ground, which gets the knee joints to function and then the hip joint to function, okay? It's not a backwards or a hinge motion, okay? I know a lot of people going to, a lot of people going to say, um, uh, otherwise but this is how we move naturally okay another example I don't go down and I don't pick up stuff like that throwing the back backwards go down pick it up I'm pushing up with the legs hips extend lock out same time with the knee okay these are all examples of why the body um, why the deadlift is a push and not a pull okay so, I'm going to turn this sideways. Uh. All right, so I'm here. <clears throat> when I get ready to deadlift, okay, grab the bar here. All right, I'm going to tell you some things that, that you will actually see in a lift, okay? So, if you start... The pool, if you start the, the lift off of off with a pull, okay, or tighten up the arms, okay, or head up, okay, what's going to happen, okay, and when you do that motion with the hinge motion, what's going to happen, and you will see this with, shoot, maybe 90% of the people when they lift, and it's called soft knees. Okay, so when you hear, all right, and you start as a pull using the back, what's going to happen, especially with, especially with um, heavier weights, you're going to pull back and you're going to see those knees. See my knees bent? That's what's going to happen, okay? <coughs> Instead of pushing straight up with the legs and popping the hips forward, okay? The reason why that happens is is because you are changing the function of the function of the way the deadlift is supposed to go okay so when you pull think about it like this when you pull you're using the back as a function to move the weight okay and allowing or forcing it and forcing the legs to maintain the lift okay so I'm gonna say that again you're using the back as a function to lift the weights and forcing the legs to maintain the weight so there's no movement so when you use a pull that's why you can't lock those knees out so you pull it up and the upper back is going or the back is going backwards while the legs are just maintaining the weight so there's no push or drive in the legs and you lock out like this, okay? And to me, that is not a good lift. You gotta be fully erect, knees, bone on bone, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders, head, okay? So now when you push, this is the way it's supposed to happen. Now when you push, you're changing the functions to, the, you're changing the things to do the functions, which is your knees and hips, to push the weight while the back is maintaining the weight okay so the difference so I'm pushing up with the legs hamstrings and glutes pushing forward boom while the back is just being there in its finished state being there in its finished state while I'm pushing up knees lock out hips lock out back maintaining weight okay now the other way around like I said when you pull you flipping it around. So the thing is, is you're using the back to lift up the weight while the legs are maintaining the weight and pushing the hips through here. Okay. This is why the deadlift is a push, not a pull. Once these knees are starting to lock out, 
The hips are automatically supposed to lock out, okay? Because it's simultaneous. That's how the body works. When you jump, when you extend, okay, those knees and hips lock out the same way. It's no way, it's no way that those knees and hips not going to lock out the same time, same time when, when you're jumping. It's no way, okay? That's a fact. No way. So, like I said, we're pushing through the ground, knees doing the function, hips doing the function, locking out. Head, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, okay? Straight motion, up and down, okay? So, that's why... The back is not doing a function. That's why the lift is a push and not a pull. So what I'm going to give you all just a little information on my theories. I'm not going to put everything out just yet. But in order for the body to be and work as a unit, and all three lifts, you have to have two things, okay? You have to have the ground, and you have to have this right here, okay? If you have one without the other, the body cannot be together, okay? So, in everything we do, it involves a foundation. It involves the ground. We can't do anything without the ground. That's where we generate our energy is from the ground, our foundation, okay? So in order to have the body work as one feet, like I said, as the foundation, feet in the ground, foundation, to put the body together is here. Breath crunching down in this area down you are actually found you're actually when you breathe into the abdomen you are you are um i can't even think you are planting yourself into the ground you are you are grounding yourself that's the word i was looking for you're grounding yourself okay so breath crunch Boom, grounding yourself into the ground. So you're now screwed yourself into the ground. This goes with squat, believe it or not, bench and deadlift. Okay, so here and the ground. Okay, quick example. Okay, if someone was here to pick me up, try to pick me up, and I didn't want them to pick me up, what will I do? I'll drop and stiffen up. Okay, and you don't even really realize what you're doing, but you do it automatically. You drop and you actually tighten, tighten here, and you're dropping your feet into the ground. Why does that make you heavier? Because you are grounding yourself, you're putting your weight into the ground to generate energy so the person cannot pick you up. Okay, these are things that people don't think about or understand when it comes to lifting, they think that. You're just strong or you're just this or that, but you have to know how to use your body and how the body is made to be worked, okay? So the foundation is here and the feet no matter what, okay? That's what you need in all three lifts is that foundation with the feet and the core, okay, to allow you to be stronger, okay? The tighter you are, the more solid you are against the ground, more energy that you can produce okay all right so you cannot screw yourself into the ground or move that much weight if this is loose and not tight because when you try to pick it up boom that lower back is going to give okay you're going it's going to give okay so that's the difference and and lifting and lifting being tight Lifting and being tight in some some areas than lifting and being tight here in the lower abdomen, okay? That little diaphragm. So that's just some of my theory. So um, try it out. Um, 
I hope it helps you, and I'll see y'all around. Come on, Rich. You got this now. Grip and wreck. Let's see it. Stand up. Come on. Up. Up. Oh, my God.